When it comes to crypto, most of the time people are talking about price and not very often do they talk about use cases. In this video, I wanna talk about the UCAM, which is a security camera that utilizes blockchain via IODEX and actually combines the two worlds together. Now, full disclosure, this video is sponsored by IODEX and UCAM, but in no way am I shilling the cryptocurrency or the hardware itself. I'm just giving a highlight of what it is and then my unbiased opinion on the pros plus the cons. You'll see my take and how I think about this use case for blockchain. First of all, why is the UCAM even needed? We already have the Nest, the Ring, you name it. There's lots of different security cameras out in the market, but UCAM combines blockchain with camera security. So the question is, why was it created? Well, there is a story of a Ring device essentially getting hacked and the hackers talking to this eight-year-old girl through the device. If you're the parent of that situation, that's obviously terrifying. You've got the security camera with a purpose and having it exploited like that is terrifying. Now, the assumption is that the password login was brute force and the hackers were able to essentially get control of the device. Did you know if there's a seven digit alphanumeric password, it can essentially be cracked in under two seconds based on just brute force, meaning that a program will guess what the password is in different combinations and able to log in if they have the certain username or email that was used to create the account. How does UCAM fix this? Well, they give you a blockchain identity, meaning that it has no connection to your actual real identity. You're not going to use a username. You're not going to use the passwords that you use across eight different websites. They give you a private key when you create your account and that key allows you to log in and allows you to be the only one that can access the data. So without that private key, hackers can't essentially log into your account or get into the device as it's fully protected by that blockchain and the fact that they don't have that private key, aka your keys, your data. Now this is all great for security but I do see one flaw. Now, it really revolves around a human error, but when you get a private key, if I copy that key and put it onto a notepad on my computer or I save it to my notes on my phone, if someone hacks my phone or if someone hacks my computer and is able to get that private key, well now they have access to all the information on the device anyway. So, you know, it's one of those things where if you do keep the private key secure, then yes, you're fully protected. But if you're kind of lazy when it comes to protecting that private key, well, then it's just the same as a centralized situation where someone can access the device. The other cool feature is that it uses edge computing. So there isn't a centralized server with all of your information. All of the data and the videos is on your device itself. And then if you need to retrieve that information, it's all decoded on that device. And I'll admit, I was surprised when I found out that the UCAM was only 50 bucks. If you're wondering what comes with that price tag, well, you get a 1080p HD video, 360 coverage you can take photos video there's two-way audio and then also there's night vision which is kind of cool and you may be saying well you've mostly said positive things I'm not the only one that thinks there are some positives when it comes to this product as it did win a 2020 innovation award through the Consumer Technology Association if you're wondering more about the blockchain itself that is being used on UCAM, well that is IOTEX and the whole purpose of IOTEX was to create a blockchain used for the Internet of Things but in this case, the internet of trusted things. So they're trying to make it so instead of using a smart device like a Nest or a Ring, you can use a device like a UCAM, but it's more secure because it's not centralized. And IOTEX uses a different consensus protocol than something like Bitcoin or Ethereum. It uses delegated proof of stake. Now, I'm not gonna pretend like I understand the nitty gritty of the technicals, but this protocol uses both witnesses and delegates. The witnesses are the ones that create and validate blocks while the delegates are the ones that essentially govern the blockchain. The real goal for IOTEX is to partner with different companies to create internet of things that are more trustless and is decentralized. So you have the UCAM, but you have other projects that are being worked on that utilize IOTEX blockchain technology in order to create those products and create that connection between the real world and blockchain. And an example of this would be the Pebble Tracker, which takes it from trusted devices and the UCAM to trusted data. So the Pebble allows you to capture real world data and have that information verified. Some examples of data that could be collected would be their location, climate, light, or even motion. And if you look at the IOTEX 
biotech's ecosystem as a whole. They're working on a lot of different applications and hardware with a lot of different partners, stakeholders, and exchanges. Overall, I would say the concept of UCAM as well as the Internet of Things being decentralized with the combination of blockchain is a pretty cool concept. And realistically, my only concern would be if IOTEX was closed off, but it is actually open source blockchain, so you can see what is going on behind the hood. The other would be okay, when it comes to the private key, people are still open to having that be stolen. Whether they keep it on their own device somewhere in another centralized server, there's ways that people could get their hands on that private key. Now, that would be another solution that would be needed in order to make sure that the private key could only be accessed by the person that needs it, and then there's a way for them to recover it safely, and only them can access the private key. I don't know, maybe it's too much hand-holding and too much to ask for, because with this, it seems like there's more security. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Main Street Wolf where we talk cryptocurrency. We'll do reviews of different software and hardware related to crypto. Thanks guys for watching, and have a great day.